So how do you know how much money you should charge a business owner on a flat rate deal? It's a good question. A couple years ago, before I came up with this, it was honestly just a guess. It was pulling something out of the back pocket. I would listen to the business owner's comments. I would kind of gauge how much money they had, how much money they were spending in advertising, how much money, I, like what I thought they would flinch at. I mean, I did understand enough to know, okay, well, if this niche is higher ticket, I could probably charge more. But quite honestly, there was no rhyme or reason. I had people all over the board. And honestly, when I was doing that, it, it was it was difficult to go in confidently and say, okay, this is how much it's going to cost because I, I didn't really have a justification for why I was charging that much. Now I do. So I'm going to show you guys how I come up with the price on each and every one of my, with, with each and one, every one of my clients. Okay. It's a very specific formula and I use this tool. Um, the other thing that's interesting about this is I used to think that this was very, very important to show the client. And it still is. I make sure that my clients see this calculator and how I came up with the price and so that they can logically justify it and it makes sense to them because people, I was taught this when I first started door-to-door -door sales many, many years ago is people buy emotionally and they justify logically. So I want to make sure my business owners, they can justify this logically so they don't, they don't try and cancel. They don't try and change their mind. And I still think that's important. But what I realized after doing this um, and training this over the last couple of years is that this tool and this process, more importantly than showing the business owner and justifying it to them, this helps you as the salesperson or one of your sales team members, it helps you confidently drop the price without kind of flinching yourself. And it lets you know, hey, even though I'm I'm telling this guy it's three or this gal or this guy that it's three thousand bucks a month, I'm actually giving them a deal because this is these are the numbers and this is how much money I'm going to make them. So Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's jump in. So what I do every single time is up and up until now, I've talked to the business owner a couple of times and I just ask them their numbers. Like if you guys are weird about that and you think it's weird to ask people their numbers, they're probably going to act weird back. But to me, it's not a big deal. So I ask people, Hey, what's your average ticket? Okay. If, let's, let's use the example of concrete. Hey, how much, what's your average job size? And usually I'll follow it up with something like, What's your average job size? The companies I work with in concrete right now, they usually are between five and 10K. What would you say yours is? And then if I give them that, they're like, oh yeah, it's probably like five, 6K. Okay, cool. And I do the same thing on every, on every one of these. So I ask how much the average job size, the, the, the gross, like the invoices, okay? Then I say, most of the companies that I, this is how I preface it. I say most of the companies that I work with in the concrete space, they're running on like a 25 to 30% profit margin. Is that about the same as you? Are you running more lean or more overhead? What would you say? And when you phrase it like that, it's not a big deal. And if it's not a big deal to you, it's not a big deal to them. If somebody asks me how much my business is profiting, I have no problem telling them that. So I don't act weird about it. So I ask what their profit margin is. And then I say this question. I say, how many deals, if you go to 10 homes and quote 10 homes on concrete, how many are you going to close? And this is what's funny is all these business owners, they always say, oh, dude, I'm like 80, 90%, like I'm getting the deal. And I realized that I'm like, why does everyone keep saying this? And they realize that most of these people are only getting referrals. And so they're, they're closing high because let's be honest, if you're getting a referral, you should be closing at a hundred percent. There's no reason you shouldn't close it. So they're, out, they're probably not lying, um, but it's not accurate for the leads you're going to send them. So here's what you do is if people are weird about it, you know, I'm not going to share that information. Well, Number one is you have some ground to overcome because if someone can't tell you what their profit is, they're probably not going to give you their credit card, number one. Um, but some people are just weird about it. And so what I do is I just I just go and research the industry. I go and call companies. I go and ask people that are in this niche that are other lead generators. And just so you know, with concrete, $5,000 is not an unrealistic um, amount of money for an average job size. Um, and a profit margin of 20 to 25% is not unrealistic or, or 25 to 30%, I'm sorry. Um, and I always say like 25, 30% close is fair. Okay. So what, why am I getting all this information? Because I'm going to come up with my price by using this tool. So what I do, and there's tons of tools out there. Um, uh, one of my friends, uh, 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 somebody that's in one of the groups I'm in came up with this calculator. What is lead worth.com? You guys are free to use it. And so I just pop everything in here. So I start off and I put this at zero. Okay. Cause I like to surprise myself. So we put in the average ticket, it's $5,000, okay? Because we're going into concrete. 
and we put the profit margin. I always like to err on the low side, so I'll probably put it at 25, maybe even 20%. We'll just put it at 25% for the sake of this, okay? Close rate, I know that the guy or gal said 80, 90%, but let's be realistic. And I phrase it when I tell them this, I, look, I'm say, I say, you're probably closing higher, but I would like to stay and, put, and show you these numbers around, even if you only close like 30%. That way I'm not like calling them out, yo, you can't close, you know, that kind of thing. I'm more just saying, let's be safe and I don't want to like oversell this, okay? Cool. So those are the numbers and this is how I always sell. In these bigger ticket, these medium to high ticket uh, niches like concrete, like tree service, like spray foam insulation, um, like landscape, uh, so, some different landscaping uh, niches. I like to guarantee, and I don't say the word guarantee, but I like to, I like to kind of sell the deal on them only getting between 15 and 20 leads per month, because that way, if I get anything above that, which I know I can, I know that getting 15 leads is a no brainer, right? I know I can do that with, with some organic, maybe a little bit of paid getting 15 leads is a no brainer. And then if I deliver 30, they're, they're exact. They refer me, they're pumped, they want to go into new areas, all this different stuff. So I don't ever put this number high. Now, if you have a website that's been generating consistently 30, 40 leads for six, seven months, 12 months, you are free to change this and, and put the actual numbers if you have the data. So if you're somebody that has a site that's already ranking with, uh, with the data that shows this many leads, you are free to put that. Make sure to factor in some of those are going to be junk. Some of those are going to be salespeople calling to sell you ads. And so just be conservative. My only caution is be conservative, undersell, undersell these deals because we're trying to build businesses that are, we're trying to build an empire here. And if you're having a high churn and you, and your attrition is really high, it's going to, it's going to be really, really hard for you to build. So I like to undersell over deliver that, that, that cliche saying, and it's true. And it also helps manage expectations. So what I do is I always put in 15 leads. Okay. So I say 15. And then what's interesting is this. Let me move my picture here. Okay. Based on these numbers, this is what's interesting. Let me zoom out a little bit here. Okay. Based on these numbers, okay, $5,000 ticket price, 15, only 15 leads a month and a profit margin of 25% and only closing three out of 10. If those numbers are true, they are going to add from your leads, from just 15 leads at those numbers, they're going to add $22,500 in gross revenue. But more importantly, 5625 so $5,625 in net profit every single month from just 15 leads, okay? Insane. So now this is how I come up with my price, is I my goal is I wanna make sure that I can at least double this person's money, if not triple their money. So I would look at that price and I would say, okay, 56, if I divide that by two, now that's like whatever, 20, 2,800 bucks a month, um, if this is a brand new site and I'm not 100% confident about that, then I might say, okay, what I'm going to do is for the first, uh, you know, six month contract or three month, whatever we do as that initial period. Yes, I do contracts in all my all my deals, and I'll explain that in another video. Um, maybe what I say is like for me at that at those numbers, I'm going in with 100% confidence, no lower than 1500, because even if I'm charging 1500 bucks a month, right? If they can close three out of 10 and I can send them 15 leads and that's their average ticket, at 1500 bucks, they're gonna more than triple their money. Like they're literally gonna more than triple, almost quadruple their money. So 1500 is a no brainer, probably gonna be pitching somewhere in like the 1750 to 2000 range. But you can see like, okay, now I know my price, like it's gonna be between 1500, 2K. And if I have consistent data that says my site gets 30, 40 leads. I mean, you could see this. Watch, I mean, even if we change it to 20, look at the difference here. 70, I mean, it gets insane. You guys don't understand what this is worth to these people, um, these business owners. So I know my price now. And what's important is now when I go into that deal, when I go into that sales pitch in that Zoom close at the end, um, which is what I do without question every time is a Zoom close, I can confidently show them this and say, look, man, look, lady, if you just close three out of 10, and your deal size is 5,000, which you already told me it's actually higher. You said it's like 7,500. We're looking at $5,625 of profit. So my goal is if I can at least double or triple your money, 
you're going to be with me for a long, long time. And that's why I came up with the price. And that's how I factored it. The price is $17.50 per month. You get every single lead. It's 100% exclusive. Amex or Visa, right? Like, and, and, and obviously it's a little bit more, I smoothed that out a little bit more, but um, I'm, I'm joking when I say that. I do use the Amex or Visa close at the very end. Um, but what, what I'm getting at is I'm going to be able to confidently drop that price and know darn well that I'm worth $17.50. And they can sit here and say, no, 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 no. I'll do a thousand. It's like, no, I'm not doing a thousand a month because I am worth way more than that. A thousand bucks a month, what, you're going to six X your money? You got to give me a little man. You got to give me a little lady. So anyway, guys, um, I want to keep this brief. Uh, it's already gone longer than I wanted to. Use this tool, this lead value calculator. Feel free to use this one, whatisleadworth.com, um, to come up with your pricing to justify when you drop the price of $2,000 a month, $1,750, $1,500 per month on a flat rate deal to justify that in the business owner's mind, but more importantly, to give you the confidence as the salesperson to justify dropping that price and sticking and then, and then allowing you to stick to your guns and confidently do so. As usual, guys, if you like uh, what I'm talking about here, you like the, the, these type of videos, I have an entire Facebook group all we talk about is selling and pre-selling flat fee deals. The link will be somewhere in the description or on this video, and I will see you inside.